everyone what's happening today i'd like to do a mock sql technical interview that you may encounter in your interview with the fan companies this usually happens in the second or third round of your entire interview process and uh, usually you will be provided with some interactive online coding tools like coderpad or vs code to show your work um, but then for our interview today, we would be using the Microsoft SQL Server just because it would be easier to see on camera. For this interview, you will work with this transaction data um, containing records of user logins to our online marketplace. So to give you an overview, it contains user ID, username, which is the identified, and also login date and the login location. So we also have the dollar amount of this transaction. And now um, you need to write a query to return users who have logins in both NYC and Illinois. I know how to do this, easy peasy. I'm down. Sure, go ahead and run it. Do you think you need to double check your query? Um, see, I'm not expecting to see this user 0180 DEF because he or she had only one single login in NYC, but no login in Illinois. Oops. Okay, um, here we have a time series data where each user could have multiple transactions. And we also have a missing value in this login location variable. Um, and also seems like there's no record with the same user login on the same day. Um, okay, I have a couple of questions though. So, um, first, um, by logins in both NYC and Illinois, do you mean that this user needs to have at least two logins and um, one in NYC and another in Illinois? Um, and then the next question I have is, what columns should I return? So should I return just the user ID or um, username or both? Sure, um, yes to your first question and for your second question, you can return both user ID and username. All right, um, since we're looking for users have both logins in both locations and we need to maintain a counter where we check each condition individually. So we select from this transaction data and we want to use the variable in user ID and username. And then next, we're gonna maintain a counter by using the sum case when login location equals NYC, then one else zero as our NYC count. And then we're gonna do another one for Illinois so some case when login, login location equals Illinois, then one else zero. And as the Illinois count, because we're using this um, sum analytic function, we're going to group by the user ID and also our username. So now we have counters for both condition. All we need to do is to select
from this table. Um, we just uh, call it that, where both count is greater than is greater than zero. And now we just need to select distinct user ID and username. Okay, I think I'm done here, but um, let's see if there's any way we can optimize this query. Um, okay, so here, since we have this analytic function sum and group by, so we should be able to just uh, remove this distinct statement because everything is unique already. Um, yeah, so now I'm down. Good, go ahead and run it. So the technical aspect we'd like to gauge with this particular question is that the candidate understands the in operator is a condensed version of multiple all conditions rather than and. This is one of the common errors that our junior data scientists tend to make when they work with transactional level data. Knowing how to do a preliminary summary level query is very important to us. All right, now moving on to next question. Let's zoom in to take a look at individual user ABC, um, the ID 0155. So you need to write a query to count this user's California logins versus non-California logins. Just to clarify, a California login means um, login location in California and a non-California login means login location not in California, right? And um, also, I do see a null value um, so is it considered a non-California login as well? That is correct. For this one, we're particularly interested in 0155, so we need to first select this user from our table. Um, this user ID equals N0155. And now we want to count the logins. So um, we're going to use the count function, count star as our total count and also, and also to count the California count case when um, this logging location equals California then we count this user ID and as our California account. And now we're gonna do the same for the non-California logins. So um, count case when logging location is not equal to California and also um, taking into consideration the null value um, by using all logging location is null, then um, count this user ID. And these ones are like non-California count. So yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm down. For this question, we'd like to test the candidate on his or her observations on missing values and how they handle those missing values correctly. Candidate needs to understand that comparing a null with an actual value will return a missing value and they will have to account for that in their query. Here are some follow-up questions for your reference. Hopefully this video has given you an idea of what a typical SQL interview looks like at a fan company. Here are the key takeaways and the tips for you. 
If you found this video inspiring, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye folks. <laughs>